What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and welcome to another Overwatch news video. Today's topics include the recently revealed brand new Legendary Lucio emote, a forum post from Jeff Kaplan regarding a significant decrease in in-game toxicity, as well as a brand new Hanzo statue, which is available for pre-order. So, without further ado, let's jump right on in. Now first up, we have the brand new Legendary Lucio emote, which as we can see here, looks pretty dang cool. However, there is one significant caveat, which is that it's currently exclusive to the All Access Pass for Overwatch League. The only way to get this emote is to purchase this All Access Pass, which currently costs $30. Now, I know quite a few people will be disappointed to see this. $30 is a fairly steep price if you're only wanting to get this emote. However, it should be noted that the All Access Pass does actually come with quite a lot of other content. In addition to the this Lucio emote, you also get 12 Owl Team Away skins, each representing one fan favorite hero for each team, along with three in-game Overwatch League themed skins, which brings us up to a total of 15 unique epic skins, in addition to an in-game spray, player icon, and a ton of other stream related rewards, such as over 20 Twitch emotes. And on top of that, it seems like content is constantly being added to this All Access Pass, meaning that by the end of of the first Overwatch League season, there's a good chance that there'll be even more great content added to it. Now as for whether or not this will actually justify the $30 price, I think comes down to a person to person basis. Personally, I'm not that interested in the Overwatch League, so I have to say that I won't be purchasing it, even with this awesome Lucio emote. However, for those of you who are invested in it and enjoy watching the League, I could easily see this being a worthwhile purchase. I will also note that I've seen some people talk about the fact that it's marked as limited time exclusive, and there's some debate as to whether that means that it'll only be available ever in this one pack, or if it'll eventually be added to the game in a different way. For example, with the Oni Genji and Officer Diva skins, those were originally limited time exclusives, in that they were part of a crossover event with Heroes of the Storm. But after those events ended, they were later added into Overwatch in the standard loot box pool, meaning that you didn't have to play Heroes of the Storm in order to get them. Unfortunately though, I don't think that's the case we're seeing here with this new emote, as the Officer Diva and Oni Genji skins were part of a crossover promotion, and I think the biggest reason they were ever even added to the standard loot pool is due to complications with console players who weren't even able to play Heroes of the Storm. By comparison, both PC and console players can link their Blizzard accounts to their Twitch accounts in order to get these rewards. So if you were super gung-ho about getting this new emote, I wouldn't recommend waiting around and expecting it to come to the game as part of the standard loot boxes. But regardless, it's an interesting little promotion that Blizzard is putting out, and I'll include a link to the website where you can actually purchase the All Access Pass down in the description below. Moving on though, a few days ago we got a forum post from Jeff Kaplan talking about the effects of the new LFG and endorsement systems in-game. Looking specifically at the American and Korean regions, the percentage of competitive matches that contain abusive chat is down 26.4% in the Americas and 16.4% in Korea, and the percent of daily players being abusive is down 28.8% in the Americas and 21.6% in Korea. Now, of course, removing toxicity and abusive chat entirely is, of course, impossible. However, it is nice to see that we're having a sharp decrease thanks to these new social systems which are implemented. And keep in mind, this is kind of just the tip of the iceberg. We do know that there is still one major social system which is supposedly going to be coming a little later this year, and additionally, a number of quality of life changes are currently in the works for the LFG system, so I think we can absolutely expect to see both these systems we have currently iterated as time goes on. I personally have to say that I've noticed at least somewhat of a decrease in toxicity and general rudeness. I guess you could say, in Overwatch, and I know I've heard a lot of other people say that they've noticed that as well. Hopefully this player positivity will stick around for a very long time, but at least for the time being, I think we can all be satisfied with the fact that Overwatch has become just a little less toxic. And moving on to the final topic for today, a brand new Overwatch Hanzo statue was recently revealed and is now available for pre-orders. This was actually revealed I think about a week or two ago, but I never really got around to making a video talking about 
about it. And well, since I've kind of gotten into the habit of talking about all the new Overwatch related products and merchandise, I thought I'd go ahead and throw this in a video as well. Much like the other Overwatch statues we've gotten in the past, it stands 13 inches tall and is highly, highly detailed. I'm sure any Hanzo fans will at the very least be tempted by this amazing statue, although it does carry a hefty price of $175. So once again, whether it's worth the cost is up to you, but nonetheless, a very cool looking statue all the same. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. I apologize for my content being a bit stagnant over the past week. I've been getting over an illness and hopefully things should be back to normal this coming week. In particular, I have a pretty exciting video planned for tomorrow, which I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy. So be sure to stick around to my channel to look forward to it. Be sure to leave a comment down below regarding anything I talked about here today. Are you going to be getting the new Lucio emote with the all access pass? Or do you have your own story about the newfound positivity we're seeing in Overwatch? Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications to both help out my channel and keep up with all my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.